again, everybody. Where are we at today? Well, we are at our new building site. Well, it is not a new building site. It's, this site had a house on it before and uh, getting ready to have one on it again. This is the uh, site of the old home place where I grew up, actually. The house itself was back here, had a porch on the front of it, and of course the concrete steps and the concrete patio. And it, it was pretty nice to be able to sit out here on the steps and you can hear the creek running from here. If you sit here and just be quiet, you can sit and listen to the sound of the creek run normally. Yeah, I can hear it a little bit. This, uh, of course, needs a little work on the steps too, but the main part is, of course, the house first. But I was gonna show y'all the new house seat. All right, yeah, this is very old uh, <laughs> cement. Well, it's not super old, I guess, but uh, I did that when I was uh, pretty young, working on something out here and I was beating on it uh, for some reason, I was beating on the patio or on the concrete slab here, and uh, I actually kind of got in trouble for that. And my dad told me that's going to crack now. I didn't think it would, but obviously it did. We have the Grand Canyon of cracks here. I'll have to fill that in. I'll just get some uh, cement mix. We just kind of brush this off a little and it actually had had some dirt and stuff on it because we really haven't been using this haven't been using the steps either and they actually like i said it needs some work a few bags of cement though it's not too bad i, I guess it is. It's pretty good shape. yeah it's been through a lot a house burned right beside of it sitting right here that's what happened to the old house it was here. It burned down. You almost got that one too. Yeah, we almost lost the one that we're living in. But this was poured in 1983, and you can't really, I don't know if you can see that, but I put my initials in. I was, I was young, understand. <laughs> and uh, you can't really see it very good. Okay, so you can see that uh, I put the date, or well, remember I was uh, nine years old. So I was nine when this was poured. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but this was not poured in 9183. For one thing, that year has not happened yet, and that's very far in the future. So. Um, those are supposed to be switched, of course. <laughs> it's supposed to be 1983. That is the year that this was poured. So it's been here for a day or two. That's one reason I kind of want to use the slab because this was actually from when I was growing up. And I do have a lot of memories out here. There's a spot for a picnic table umbrella the umbrella actually went in there and the picnic table had a hole in it so you had the umbrella sticking out of it uh, these are the reason there's holes on the side there were bushes that were planted here that grew up out of the holes in front of the house if i can find a picture of the house i'll put it up so y'all can see and out here Somewhere, yeah, right here, I would have to, I'd have to do some work on it, but there's an electrical box in here, and there's a conduit that runs to the back, so I can actually run um, a wire out here to put a plug if I want to. I don't think I'm going to, but just kind of neat to have that. Uh, actually, what Dad did, this right here is a gas line. It ran out here. And it went over, there was a grill hooked up right over here. 
uh, actually it sit on the patio and uh, it was a gas grill that was permanently connected so anyway yeah this is going to be our uh, steps and little patio thing for our tiny house and where the tiny house is going to be it's going to be a I guess you call it a tiny house because it's going to be pretty small. Uh, these are the stakes. There's one here and one here and one there and one right here. This one kind of got knocked over. I'm going to have to square that one back up. But yeah, this is going to be our where our house is going to go. So, this should be a pretty good little project. Uh, yeah, right back behind it here, there's a couple of trees and stuff I'm going to clear out. Um, I think if I can clear some trees, these right here, in the wintertime, you're not going to get that much solar, but I'm wanting to put solar panels. So, we may clear some of these trees out. I don't know. Kind of hate to lose those, but uh, we've already had one that broke out right there. That's when I did the little review on my chainsaw. That's the tree that broke out there. And actually, it took the windshield out on that car. But, yeah, right into the sun there. Uh, but yeah, if I could get rid, you can see the sun is right there. So even in the winter, if I can get rid of some of these trees, then uh, maybe that might be some good solar. Of course, in the summer, we get all kinds of solar all the way across from here, all the way across there. So yeah, we shouldn't have no problem. Like I said, these trees will go. Um, I'll probably take these out because I don't want uh, these pine trees that close to the house because of the fact that it could potentially do like that one did and damage the house so yeah but anyway I've got some plans for the house um, I did purchase the plan so I can't go into any real details and show you any uh, details but I can show you the picture and stuff so I'll put that up now so you can see what it's going to look like. And in the back of the old Silverado here, we have a floor. It just has to be uh, put together. <laughs> but yeah, we've got uh, we got the tongue and groove OSB. We've got the... And yes, I know I said I was going to get sawmill lumber, but none of the sawmills that I tried to get up with would get back to me on a quote i went to a couple of them or a few of them there's not many around here but uh they wouldn't even get back to me so i guess i'm building it from lowe's lumber um, i do get a military discount so it takes off a little bit uh but we got some posts here got some cement and here we have some uh glue some nails, some hangers, because we're going to want to hang our floor joists with these, and probably nail through too. And, yep, I have the plans in a little book there. Shows everything. So, we are ready to uh, start building a house, looks like. At least on the floor. <laughs> but for right now, we are going to uh, be leaving this out here. So one thing, if you have a load on a pickup truck, and uh, if you look here, you can tell, it's not much, but the back end is pushed down some. Uh, you don't really want to leave it like that overnight. What you want to do is you want to take a jack and put it underneath of it and jack it up so that it is about the level that it normally would be. So that's what I'm gonna do now. 
All right, so we've got the jack under the bumper and it's raised up a little bit. So we have the weight took off of the springs. And also for my cement, I just took a piece of this. It's not supposed to rain any, but I'm kind of afraid of the dew or something like that. Uh, just kind of put that over top of the cement. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is we need to find where the actual corners of our house are going to be. So what I've done, you see I've got, I should paint them brighter, I guess. But you can see I've got a stake drove in right here. And then right over here, I've got a board that goes across the back of the steps. And I measured from that, the porch is going to be six feet. So I measured from that over to here. This is six feet. And then over here, on the other side, from here over to here is six feet. And then the distance between here and that stake is 20 feet. But what we need to do is we need to figure out where that stake and that stake needs to be. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to use a little geometry. We know that our dimensions of the cabin are 12 foot wide and 20 feet long. So what you'll want to do, multiply the uh, dimensions by their self. Like one side is 12 and you're going to go times 12 and well sorry y'all i couldn't help it i know that's kind of gross so okay we know what that one is now we'll do the other side or the other direction this direction which is 20 times 20 is we'll take that which is 400 plus one four four okay and we'll take i think we got to turn our calculator sideways for this to happen okay so we'll take and we'll put that there and over here we'll get the square root okay now you can see we got a number there 23 and one third feet. So, alrighty. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put one tape measure on that stake. The other one, we're gonna put on this stake. And this one, since it's gonna be 12 feet wide, we need to pull this one out to 12 feet. This one should be right at 12 feet. This one, we said it was 23.3, which is a third. So that would be 23 foot four inches. You can see right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our stake right there. I don't know if that's exactly square. It's more of an X. But anyway, that's got this one. All right, so now we have, that's our layout for our house. And it's square. And you can check square by measuring diagonally this way and diagonally that way and that will tell you for sure that it is and i did that and it's it's uh well close enough for us so that has it uh laid out 
Now, the front porch here, of course, is going to be the porch. See, so I may make a uh, walkway that leads across right here. But the thing is, I want to be able to walk all the way around the house. So, uh, with leaving the porch out for right now, I can do that. But, yeah, you can see, you know, we'll have to take those trees. Uh, I need to cut that one off, a little stump. I need to cut that one off a little bit. Trim all that up, and uh, that'll be our backyard. But, yeah, we need to get rid of some vehicles. And, yes, that is the Cava Cruiser right there. Uh, I guarantee you right now it would start up and it would run perfectly, but uh, it is wore out. <laughs> but, anyway. But, anyway, I guess that's going to about do it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching. I'll see y'all on the next one.